everybody. I'd like you to meet my little friend. <laughs> His name is Buzzy Malone. <laughs> he's a potato. In fact, he's not just a regular potato, he's a brave potato. And that's what we're going to read today. This is called Brave Potatoes by Toby Speed and illustrated by Barry Root. It's a very interesting story. I hope you like it. Late at night at the county fair, when the crowd's gone home and the cows have gone to bed, all the prized potatoes rub their eyes. They look to the left, they look to the right, everyone's asleep in the bud and bean arena. So all the prized potatoes with their eyes wide open topple to the hard, knocky floor. And one potato, two potato, three potato, four, head for the creek cracky door. They sneak past the cabbages snoring in their ribbons, sneak past the celery and sneak past the leeks. They sneak out the door and go rolling down the midway. Wide awake potatoes, heading out to ride the zip. Way across town at the chowder lounge, hack em up the chef begins attack with the chopper and the dicer and the shredder and the grater and the masher and the mincer and the so long see you later. See him chop, 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 chili peppers on the top. Spanish onions do a tango while the radishes unfurl. See the parsnips looking pallid in the bastabouille base, while the salad softly sings a veggie ballad. See the carrots curly cueing and the garlic parachuting with a plop, plop, plop in the chowder pot they drop. For his soup, for his stew, for his chowder and his brew, he's got maldonado mushrooms, he's got bastabouille beets, for a jumbo jambalaya that'll set your mouth on fire, he's got armadillo chili, he's got crocodilly tears, pot of rice, pot of corn, pot of carrots, pot of peas. He's got green and yellow peppers, even royal rutabagas, even ruby red tomatoes. But he hasn't got potatoes. Nope, he hasn't got potatoes. Over at the fair, potatoes in the air. See them flip, flip, flip on the wild and woolly zip. See the fearless aviators and their aviating duds going over, going under in an aerial display. What a trip, trip, trip. What a perilous ballet for the mamas and the papas and the wee potato buds. See the mesmerizing, death-defying spuds. I think I see, I think I spy, spinning spuds against the sky. Future hash and curly fries, future chowder, future chips, future gumbo a la zip. Snap them up and let them fry, snap them up and cook them quick. Off goes hack em up with a bag to pack em up. Have you heard the story yet of Idaho and Juliet? A spud by any other name is still a spud and tastes the same. So come to me, my little friends, tender roots with tender skin, and I will tell you how it ends for Romeo and Julienne. One by one he nabs them. One by one he burlap bags them. It's the last stop for potatoes. Yes, the last stop for potatoes. Get in line, potatoes. Now the end is near. Cabbages are quaking. The onions are in tears. Better follow orders. Prepare to meet your fate. It's too late to be anything but dinner on a plate. But potatoes never listen. Potatoes have no ears. See them flip, flip, flip. See them do a double dip. See the fearless aviators in their aviating duds as they roll, roll, roll. Brave potatoes, fortyfold. Brave potatoes in formation. Brave potatoes in a troop. Now they've got the chef surrounded. See the chef go alley oop. It's a puzzle where he's landed. Would you care to taste the soup? See the mamas and the papas and the wee potato buds. See the mesmerizing, chef defying spuds. All the other vegetables hop to the floor. The ruby red tomatoes and the green and yellow peppers, the spinach and the scallions and the sweet Vidalia onions 
and one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Lead the way to the door. We will never be pot pie. We will never be pot luck. We will never be frittata. We will always be potatoes. Potatoes to the finish, potatoes to the end. We will always be courageous. We will always be potatoes. Brave Potatoes by Toby Speed and Barry Root. I really um, like the, the um, illustrations. I think they're quite beautiful. And so that's kind of why I love this one. They're calling it the Zip, actually. It's the Zip. And they're brave to go on a, a ride at the, at the park. Potatoes. Potatoes are brave. All right, let's do a little activity with our potatoes. We have some pictures. I've got a cool potato. You see it? All right, we're gonna try and do some positional words using our potato. This is our potato. These are some cardboard boxes we're going to use to get our potato in the right spot. So if we want to go ahead, look down a little bit. Here we go. Wait, I'm going to do it first and then you see if you can tell me what, you try to guess what the word is. So here we go. Here's a box. Here's the potato. What position do you think that potato is in? I'm going to tell you. The potato is behind the box. Behind. How about that? They're using a red ball in these illustrations, but we're going to use a potato. I hope you like my potato. Here we go. Here's one box. Here's two boxes. Here's our potato. What position is our potato in? Let's take a look and see. Our potato is between the two boxes. Between. Nice. What's our next one? Ah, oh, I'm going to move this one aside. I'm going to use the small box. Where is our potato? What's the position of the potato? Let's take a look. This card says the potato is in the box. In the box. Nicely done. Next. Oh, there's a tricky one. I have to hold it for this one. position. What position is our potato in? Let's take a look. It is over the box. It's not resting on the box. I'm holding it over the box. Nice. Next. I'm putting the potato right here. Where is our potato? The potato is beside the box. Beside. Excellent. You're doing so well. Here's the next one. I'm going to move the potato right here. Can you say where it is? Let's take a look at the card. The potato is in front of the box. In front. Well, this one's a little different. They don't use a box for this picture, but we're going to go and try to do this in I'm going to do it with a box. Where's the potato? Well, this picture uses a table, but we're going to pretend it's a box. The potato is under. Our potato is under the box. And last, but certainly not least, here we go. There's the potato. It's resting. Potato is on the box. On the box. Good. Well, you can practice that with a cardboard box or a cup or any old thing. And you can use a real potato. I happen to have a nice baked potato with lots of cool eyes on it. But, you, know, you can use a real potato if you have one at home and practice your positional words. You can use anything to practice positional words, it's just fun. And let's say goodbye to my brave potato, Spudsy Malone. Until next time.